All right. Being the uh, end of the year, I'm going to go ahead and drop another bonus video on you. No real topic, just me. Why do I even do this? I'm not much of a braggart, but I might as well show off my Battletech collection. Which, by the way, this is not all of it. You're going to see all of it. But my Battletech collection, as it stands, has some pretty unique miniatures in it. And it's also the kind of miniature collection that, you know, I do want to show you guys. Because if you play Battletech, let me be honest, I don't have... Uh, the last time I showed you the Flames of War collection, I only put painted miniatures in there. This time around, I have unpainted miniatures that are assembled and maybe base coated in this force as well. So honestly speaking, it's less pure than last time, but that's okay. This hobby is replete with people who play with gray plastic. However, the good news is, is that there's plenty of people who love their extreme paint jobs and crazy conversions. There's plenty of those. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through my Battletech collection because, you know, I just want to show it to you. So the oldest and grandest part of my Battletech collection are these bastards here. You can tell which ones the new ones are. <laughs> I've had this collection for a while, though it's younger than you think. My oldest Battletech figures, I have one in the Karita collection. My oldest Battletech figures come from way back. I started collecting these guys back in, uh, what was it, 2009? It really took swing in 2013 when people started playing Alpha Strike, and so that's why my collection exploded. I even removed some miniatures from this collection and brought them over to the, uh, the Ill Clan section of things. But that's just because they really do belong there. But I have, I have a plethora, if you look close enough, I have so many Timberwolves. I've actually ran Lances in Alpha Strike where it's nothing but Timberwolves. We played low point value games. I said, you want to play Alpha Strike with me? You're getting nothing but Timberwolves. And Elemental. I love the fact you can put an Elemental on a Timberwolf or other Omnimech. And it just sinks an action point. Yeah, you're going to move your guys before I do. Trust me, you will. Yeah, I did buy some little guys because they make great scout machines. I like the Supernova. I got one of those. The Jagatai, that air support in the back, I've rarely used it, but I like having it off the option. And I still kept that one Mad Cat 2 in there, even though it's not... You see, this force is supposed to be a uh, spec to Clan Invasion. Alpha Strike is the kind of game, though, where you just kind of buy the cool stuff that has the big numbers and you throw it in there. You can pay attention to the gear, but who does that when you can just get bigger numbers, right? It's the game that newbies play. So I have this Mark II. I had, uh, it's an actual, I think I bought that back in 2014 or some crap like that. It's old. But that Boyo, he's, uh, he doesn't really belong there. But if he's like one of the first prototype Mark IIs, he'll make sense for the era, I guess. I guess he got stolen from some Diamond Sharks just before Tukiet or some crap. Or maybe that's like a, a battle. In 3054, 3055, they'll have that guy kicking around as a prototype. So that is my Clan Wolf collection. I used to play Clan Wolf. I guess I still will in historical scenarios, but in the present part of the storyline, things have changed. This is the uh, L Clan set I have. Um, it may grow more, but I kind of like keeping it here. This is my early war L Clan set. And it actually has quite a few miniatures in there that used to be part of my Clan Wolf collection. Also, covering things that are uh, from the Alpha Strike slash I Collected Clans period, I have this I have this Society Force. The most recent addition is the uh, air support there, but the Society Force actually has kind of the same continuity. You'll see there I have the uh, a Timberwolf and Rokin, just some normal guys kicking around. I had a Trukina Z, because it's just a broken piece of shit, and an Osteon. Uh, I have multiples of the uh, Cephaluses and the Pariahs because the, the Cephasemias, I think they're called, those things are definitely mass produced, and that's how the society did things. They mass produced their mechs. So you gotta have to have more than one of those if you're running the Lance of Society. It's just how it goes. And then I have I had a single Zaku from Gundam. What do you know? I have a pile of um, mecha that are supposed to be from anime. And they're the original Unseens. I went out and gathered Unseen miniatures, and I'm painting them in their original anime colors. Why would I do this, do you ask? Well, it's, uh, well, first of all, it's, it's kind of fun. Haven't, like, I have gotten this entire pile of, like, the Phoenix, the, the Phoenix Hawk, the Stinger, and the Wasp. I can make, uh, Roy Volker's crew, but haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I like the Zentradi pod. And I do have a training force. Hey, you're facing the wrong way, trainee. 
There you go. Okay. This training force is designed so that if you want to play a, a game with some new players, they can handle these mechs and go stomp any other mech of mine with these and uh, learn how to play Battletech using these mechs. I usually don't make yellow mechs, but these are training mechs for new guys. So, um, I do have my uh, my Steyr Lance is growing. There's a spot there's not occupied. I could put the uh, the Atlas there. The endless joke is that you put an Atlas into a Steiner Lance, but I thought about it, and I looked at the box that the Atlas comes in, and there's not really anything else in that box that I want, and I don't really want an Atlas. Somebody got me a uh, 3D printed version of the Zeus. It is disassembled right now. I'm going to repose that, but this, my, uh, my fourth mech will be a Zeus mech, which is very Steiner. Going over to step two, uh, we have here my Kurita Force and all of its lack of glory. It's funny, you think that with uh, a force that was role-playing the Japanese in the Battletech universe, that they would actually do something like, you know, wear authentic Japanese camouflage in their mechs? Nope, they're usually red mechs, I guess. And so, yeah, these guys are painted completely not like Koreans are supposed to be uh, completed. I guess they're half Rasselhog or half Border Division, which I'm okay with, because I wanted the Japanese World War to camouflage in these suckers. If you look close, that's what they actually have. This guy's darker than most. Don't pay attention to him, but yeah, the rest of them. I used to have another uh, Lance of Panthers in this, but I sold them because I realized the Panthers were dreadful in Alpha Strike. They only work in, like, uh, classic Battletech. If you play them in Alpha Strike, they're literally a shit mech. Very disposable. This is a new thing of mine. Came out with the new uh, Kickstarter and whatnot. I'm going to be playing some Ghost Bears. I need one more thing of the Elementals, so I can have full Elemental Lance. And I need one more uh, mech that's not out there yet, but I'm going to get him. The Kodiak comes with a box of uh, other mechs that I want that are mostly light mechs. But the Kodiak going in there, that's going to be my actual assault mech. Yeah, I have that Dire Wolf in there. But a Kodiak does so much better saying, yeah, I'm a ghost bear player. It really does a better job of that. This, I've talked about this before, and here it is. This is a pile of insects. Fleas, locusts, and cicadas. Nine of the new uh, locusts. Um, I didn't buy all of them from starter boxes. I actually bought quite a few off of eBay. Thank you, eBay, and for eBay sellers. Although, as of this point in time, would you please lower the prices on your locusts? They're not worth 25 bucks a piece. The fleas I did clean out at a relatively good price back when they were uh, being sold individually. And I'm glad I have 10 of them. I actually prefer the Zakata mech more. Notice how there's a, uh, there's a catapult on the end? Yeah. I like the idea of putting bigger mechs that have no arms in with the rest of the insects just for the fun of it in case I really need the heavier firepower. I'm thinking if I ever find a stalker from the new Kickstarter, I might put a stalker in there because, you know, I can make Russian video game meme commentary while playing these guys. You know, this is a shame of mine because they're not painted, but I plan on making a clan raider force. Clan raiders are a new concept that's not canonical, but they make so much sense. They really should be. I don't know if you guys want to hear more about my concept for uh, clan raiders. I'll, uh, I'll hear it. They are post jihad. They would not exist before uh, in like the Fedcom Civil War. They might. They would uh, not be in the clan invasion period. They would come afterwards, after the inner sphere had uh, collided with the clans and they'd intermingle for quite a bit. That's when you see a clan raider go. I also have one other, a few other forces here. See, this is what I call my crazy unseens. Um, most of them are actually uh, either the original unseens or they are from that uh, Robotech game and they have to be the right size. But I would put a shit ton of crazy weapons on here. Like this guy, this archer has been modified, so he's got turrets, and there's actually uh, magnets holding the turrets on. He also can torso twist. Him and the, and the uh, leaf blower warhammer can both torso twist. And he's got rotary autocannon fives on each arm. That's pretty cool. This thing's not a weapon. It can be a small laser, I guess, but it's usually an uh, anti-missile system. And that rifleman is actually pretty cool. He's called the Goss Rifleman because... I up, I, I did the measurements on a rifleman, and I looked at the difference between its usual loadout and the loadout of two Gauss rifles. And so I upped the tonnage on the difference, added a little bit more, uh, what was it, ammo capacity for the, uh, the, the Gauss rifle. 
And so it's a, literally a tank hunter version of the rifleman that goes out and punches big 15 damage holes in enemy targets. Really good for the Succession Wars, doesn't require any more advanced tech. The rest of these guys have crazy tech on there. That guy's actually upweighted because he's got bigger guns on him, right? He's an upweighted, uprated rifleman. And he's actually the only guy in this group that's good for the Succession Wars. That little wasp in the back that supports them is just a crazy little guy. He's, a, he's an annoyance unit. Here's my dream team. You've seen him before in one other video. It's the crab, a Sagittarius, a Timberwolf, and a Locust, all tricked out to the nines. There's a stock version of this I run too, which is cheaper to play against. So I have a couple concepts of this dream team I can play with. I love the crab, love the Sagittarius, love the Timberwolf, really love the Locust. I also have this guy. This is an older miniature of mine. I got him in 2000, uh, 2009. He's one of the old guys I was talking about. Some of the other old guys are over there in the Cretan Force, but he's one of the old guys. And it was a joke because I looked at the, 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 uh, the Hunchback and I was like, I don't like the look of this thing. And then I looked at his stats. And I'm like, this guy is nasty. He can walk right up and just punch your face. And so I put some American flag colors on his uh, AC-20 and I named this guy Rick James. He's kind of a lone mercenary for the entire time. And when I switched out on my dream team, that Locust got switched out for the new model that came out. I was like, you know what? My old dream team Locust isn't doing anything. So I went ahead and I, uh, I made Dave Chappelle to uh, escort Rick James around. Um, I know it's an ordinary color. If uh, I have no problem putting special colors on there. If you have a good color scheme that would go with Dave Chappelle, um, I will color the weapon arms and that Locust that color. This thing has not been gloss coated. It can take an additional coat. So looking at my uh, Battletech collection, there's one thing I haven't done is shown you every last bit of them. I'm gonna line them all up, going from the ones I only have a single copy of the mech, going up to the mech that I have the most of. All right, time to go into how many I have in my collection by the number of mechs I have. So uh, starting out with the crazy stuff here. One Reaper Zerbot, one custom mech. The Zerbot is actually from the Reaper Ninjas line, not from Cav. The custom mech I have there is actually from Cav. It's also going to figure in a future video. It's my answer to the King Puma. One Turkina, one Hussar, though honestly I do kind of want an additional Hussar. One will do for me. One of each kind of air support, though I do have another box here on the way. One of each of those two mechanized war machines that need no introduction. One Chad Cat, and I do say Chad Cat separately from the rest of the Timberwolves because no mech that moves 3 5 is a proper Mad Cat slash Timberwolf. One Arm Corrected Fire Moth. One Warhawk. One Cauldron Born. One Raptor 2, and I'm probably going to keep it that way. One Savage Wolf, one Mad Cat 3, a Goon Mech, a Zaku, one Osteon, one Hadir, one Unseen Battlemaster, one Night Wolf, one Mad Cat 2X. And yes, the Mad Cat 2X belongs in a different subcategory than the Mad Cat 2, trust me. One Warcrow. I might get another one in the future, but from right now. One damaged Hatamoto Chi converted over from a plastic charger. I didn't repair this one. And it is a custom refrit, a Commander uh, Hatamoto Chi. I'll run it with stock stats all the time, though. One Crusader. One Phoenix Hawk. One Supernova. I plan on getting some more from the new Kickstarter, but it'll be the only assault mech in my Raiders force, so they're supposed to be lighter mechs. Two crabs, and I plan on getting more crabs. Having two crabs as a crab fan is a sin. Two hunchbacks. Two shadowhawks. I do have a third one kicking around, but I don't consider it part of my collection now. I may give it to a friend of mine. I may keep it, so it may be three in the future. Two wolverines. All of them unseen, bitches. Two atlases. Both are plastic. Two warhammers. Two direwolves, two vipers, two riflemen, two wasps, two cephaluses, th 
three shadow cats. And yes, two of my shadow cats are actually a special variant. It's an air defense variant with auto cannons. Three Sagittarius. I got an extra Sagittarius. I might get a fourth one that I keep stock, but I might get a fourth one that I upgrade to. <laughs> three Mad Cat 2s, including the Mark IV version. Three Catapults. Three Septicemians. Three Stingers. Four Roadrunners. Four Archers. Four Griffins. Five Panthers. Five Panthers. Five Marauders. There is some contention whether that first one belongs in the Mad Cat category, if it belongs in the Marauder category. But it's a Marauder figure, so we'll count it as that. Five Vultures. Five Stormcrows. Six Adders. Pumas. I like Pumas. Pumas is a good name for them. Six Kyrian Cocos. A.K.A. Dragons. Seven Cicadas. Eight Novas. I may get more. I actually do really like the Nova. But I have three already in my uh, Raider Force coming up. And I have three in my clan forces, so. Ten fleas. Eleven elemental bases. Thirteen timber wolves. With more coming. I have a, t a pair of D conversions I'm going to make. And then I think it's a, uh, an N. An N conversion. It might be. I'll have to go look it up. But it's the, it's the inner CD fighter with the pulse lasers on it. I might act get an additional uh, Kickstarter version of the Timberwolf. They may, they also make a 3D print of the Timberwolf. It looks freaking amazing. I really, 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 really want that Timberwolf in my collection. I do also have the Mad Kangaroo version of the Timberwolf, but he's smaller and he's in a different collection right now. He's kind of just sitting off on his own. He's not being played with. And then, not five. Not nine. Twenty-one locusts. That's Bobby Modaka and two chibi locusts in the front. Yes, I actually cut down their legs so they're shorter and gave them a nice, adorable little paint job. I wouldn't mind making one that's actually like three-quarters of an inch tall and including with my collection. I do plan also on getting more locusts. I do not have the Plastec version. I also don't have any 3D prints that are remakes of the video game models. And I know people who make those, and I know people who sell those, it's, so they can happen. I also love the new sculpts, and the fact that the metal versions are cheaper than the plastic versions right now just throws me for a loop. They're selling these plastic ones. You can buy the starter box for 50 bucks and pull one locust out of it. You can get them individually online for $25 or so. Assholes. Or you can buy the metal ones for like 10 bucks. Yeah, I, uh, that's a metal guy. That's a metal guy. He's the old school metal guy. He's a metal guy. He's a metal guy. And I don't mind it. I'm probably going to be buying more metal guys in the future too, just because. I like locusts. I'll probably have 30 or so in the future. Maybe. I actually plan on slowing down my Battletech collection a little bit. This is a lot. This is not the biggest Battletech collection. There are people out there that actually have more Battletech stuff than I do by far. But this is my collection. There are many mechs out there, but these mechs are mine. And I'll probably keep working on them for a little bit longer. I'm going to cool down and not buy as many, although I do have a shit ton of uh, Timberwolves to finish. And I'll probably never stop collecting locusts. Um, including this little bastard back here, I did actually convert one of the plastic guys to be a Locust 2C. Let me bring this guy out. What to do? He's even got the Marauder style flares in the front. So I sculpted those myself. They're not from a Marauder miniature. I sculpted them myself. And that's a Locust 2C. So I can actually have a plastic Locust with the rest of my plastic based uh, Kickstarter clan raiders. So yeah. I do plan on getting more Marauders. Yeah. I plan on getting at least two Marauder 2Cs to join the raiders. And then I might get a few fun Marauders here and there. Maybe an additional Unseen. If I can get a metal unseen, which I don't have one of, that'd be great. There is a metal version of Marauder. It also looks really cool. So, yeah. 
I have all these mechs. And not in proportion to how much of a favorite they are either. Like I said earlier, I only own two crabs. That's a sin. I should own more crabs. I'll probably own like five or six in the, when, when all comes down to it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, my Battletech video about, gee, this is how much junk I have. I hope your collection makes you happy too and that it has just as much fun stuff kicking around the uh, your collection. So thank you for watching my uh, video and may you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and many more Christmases and Happy New Years to come.